and welcome to a fashion haul. A video that we haven't seen the likes of in a thousand years. But I'm very excited for today's video because it is a black milk hurl. I'm actually gonna go one step further and try, try really hard today to the maximum and I'm gonna go ahead and do a try on hurl. <gasps> I bought all of this stuff myself and it was delivered to my house today and I'm uh, Hoping everything in here is going to fit. Lately, with the pieces that I've ordered from Black Milk, I feel like I have just a little bit of sizing conflict because forever and ever and ever and ever, I have always worn a small in the leggings, in the bathing suits, in the dresses, whatever. Uh, but recently, or it actually just happened when I, okay, in my water wobble video that you guys just hopefully saw last weekend, I was wearing those muscle combat pants. And the first time I got those, I got them in a small and they fit, but it was not a comfortable fit. It was kind of like very tight. I don't, maybe it was just that one pair, that one style, I don't know. Uh, so I ordered some things in here today in a small and some in a medium. Some of them might be too big. Some of them might be too small. I don't know, that's why we're gonna try it on. I have always loved how your packages come from Black Milk in this little plastic um, sack. It kind of reminds me of when I'm doing a mystery unboxing. The pleasant crinkle of plastic. I like it, I welcome it. Ugh. Better not say ASMR though, cause I hear that that's restricted lately. Let's just find out what's in the bag. I think I probably should have pulled this stuff up so I could tell you guys the names of stuff. Some of these items they might still have, some of them might be sold out already. That is historically what happens with black milk. They do a drop and it sells out within like an hour or two. So if you know a drop is coming, you better be sitting online when it's gonna drop because if there's a piece you want, it might sell out and then you'll never get it. And it's just, FOMO. The first item that we have, I believe, is called the Ice Queen dress. I would like to call it the Ice Princess dress. And this is very, very sheer, as I'm sure you guys can see. I would obviously recommend wearing this, you know, with a bathing suit or perhaps a bodysuit underneath it, or maybe just like shorts or a slip or whatever you wanna do. But it's a very cute, uh, blue color. It's like a nice icy silvery blue. Honestly, I bought this because it reminded me of Melanie Martinez and her style aesthetic to me is just like 10 out of 10. I love it. I see you girl and I love it. Oh, and I'm scared my fingernails are gonna like rip it. <gasps> Fragile. On to the next item, which when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And I believe it is the same style as the dress that I'm wearing today, which was also from Black Milk, like half a century ago. They don't make it anymore, which depresses me. And I can't remember if they call this the evil cheerleader style or just the cheerleader dress. I feel like this has a really cute, cute fit to it. It's kind of like a fit and flare style, which you guys can see now that I'm wearing it. I don't remember what this was called, but it is a beautiful, like starry night motif, but it is also velvet. And this was just way, way, way too 90s for me to pass up just with like the stars and like the crushed velvety sort of feeling. Somebody take me back to 1996, drop me off. I'm pretty sure that was a very, very fancy good year. All right, we've got another velvet piece in here. I think this is called the Show Us Ya Tops. Uh, dress? I don't know. I bought this because forever it is my life dream, my life goal to do a Heather's lookbook. I love that movie. It's like one of my all time favorite movies. Why no forever? I bought this thinking in my mind one day with a lot of help from my friends, I'm going to accomplish that. It's very cute. Uh, when I saw it on the website, it looked so cute. Can I just say cute like 20 more times? I need to find a good shirt, like a good Heather's shirt. Why do I keep doing it? It's like a weird chicken wing dance that I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, anyway, I gotta find a blue shirt to go with it, but I got that 
So I'm kind of halfway there. Moving into the stuff that I'm uh, very conflicted about because I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. I think I bought this skirt in a medium. Was that a mistake? I don't know yet because honestly, at this point when I'm recording this segment, I haven't tried it on yet. Actually, I got this in a small. So this one might be okay. This might be too tight. What's going on? I don't know. I feel like this goes great with the makeup that I have on today. Too bad this is not the outfit that I'm wearing. Obviously looks very Barbie-esque. We've got metallic pink. We've got a lot of little hearts on it. I mean, definitely it does have that sort of 80s Barbie kind of doll aesthetic. Yes. I also got, because I liked that pattern in that print so, so much, and oh yes, this one might be the one where I'm in trouble uh, because no, I got this in a small. Did I get anything in a medium? Did I just think that I did that? I feel like I made this purchase very late at night, which is why I feel like there is so many things that I've purchased. It was like one of those like late night spur of the moment, ah, online shopping. Do you feel me? I got shorts. Shorts to match. I'm not gonna try these on, okay? Cause I feel like they might be a little bit. Um, I do always like to wear shorts under my skirts, under my dresses, because I just kinda, I don't know, like I flop my legs everywhere like asparagus. And so, you know, I feel like I need shorts. They were just really, really cute too. And I'm kind of like into cycling lately cause suddenly I think I'm gonna be some sort of health nut. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm not, uh, but at least I'm trying. I've made a bold effort in this past three days. We've got two products left and one of them is finally, I have wanted these for so, so long. And I know a lot of you are like, Bunny, you already have them. I sort of do. These actually, I believe were part of like a re-release of some retro or vault pieces that they were bringing back. They had made like a thousand years ago. They sold out, everybody was sad. So now they're giving people, schmucks like me, a second chance to purchase them. This is what I got in a medium. A lot of you guys call these Attack on Titan leggings. I know exactly what you're talking about because Dogman loves that show, but I've never watched it a day in my life. Uh, personally, I love this because it reminds me of Body Worlds. I've seen the Body Worlds exhibit like a thousand times. That's a lie. Uh, at least twice, maybe three times. Love that exhibit. So that is why I wanted these. And I do have those little cropped workout pants. I love those. That's honestly one of my favorite black milk pieces that I own. So when I saw these long leggings come back out, I had to grab them. Last piece, another pair of leggings. And I think I got these in a small, did I? Yes. Once again, had to go with that nice, blue 90s velvet feel. And these are also a little bit cropped. <gasps> I feel like I should slow down. I'm a little bit out of breath. <sighs> this video is probably gonna bother a lot of people cause you're gonna be like, Bunny, why are you in a good mood? Why are you all over the place? I'm just, I'm in a good mood. Yesterday I was feeling very defeated. Today I'm all smiles. That's just kind of like my personality. I cry and then I laugh and then I cry again and then I laugh again and do you know what I mean? These are the Be Kind Velvet Cropped Leggings. So these might be the same length as the muscle leggings that I wore in my water wobble video. That was, that entire sentence was like a mouthful. I believe the pants that I wore in the water wobble video, I think that style is called the Combat Leggings. I don't know, it's supposed to be gym wear. Uh, these I don't think are supposed to be gym wear. They're just cropped. Anyway, that was a really unnecessarily long explanation about the fact that these are cropped leggings. There you go, I could have said that in two seconds. Really loved the 90s aesthetic. Please hit me with this blue color and the velvetness and these bugs. I don't know, I feel like I'm listening to like Lorena McKinnick. Isn't that her name? L Lorena, Lorena McKinnick? McKinnick? Somebody grab Google for me. She was like popular in the 90s. She sang all these like whimsical sort of like renaissance sounding songs and I loved it. Or maybe it was like Eve Six or somebody had like flies. 
These aren't flies, these are bees. I'm gonna stop talking now. Let me know if you guys liked this video. I have been saying for months that I wanna get back into fashion and styling and outfit of the days, and so I thought, why not just stop talking about it and actually do it? So, uh, also, I'm gonna predict that uh, I'm gonna do some thrift hurls very, very, very soon. I haven't been in quite some time, and gee, that's depressing. So, I gotta start doing that again as well. Uh, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!